Hi, I'm Yusuf Najafi from Metro Weekly, and I'm here with Nikki and Rod, two of the stars from Avenue Q. We thought it would be important to sit with them and ask them some of the pressing questions of today. The first question is, what's on your nightstand? Um, well, we share a nightstand. Right. On my side, I've got uh, a Miller Lite and some leftover pizza. What do you got? Well, he's also got some nasty toenail clippers, which he's not going to tell I cleaned them. You did clean I them, cleaned but only because I asked you 15 times. I, I usually put my glasses and uh, my alarm clock. Well, my alarm clock's on my phone, so it's usually just my cell phone and my glasses. Yeah. Yeah. And an occasional uh, Cosmopolitan. True. I noticed you read that sometimes. Before bed. Oh, oh, I, I was talking about the drink. <laughs> What's in your nightstand drawer? The nightstand Ooh. drawer is getting more secretive and secretive. Yeah. I barely even know you. You ask me what's in my drawer, I'll tell you, it's a Playboy. <laughs> he does have a Playboy. I have a copy of Men's Health. Yep. What's your biggest turn on? Uh, More uh, personal uh, by the my turn ons. <laughs> I'm getting scandalized. <laughs> oh. um, well, this is going to sound funny, but I like to be tickled. Really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. Well, I didn't tell what you. Happens just... when I... Well, I'm not going to do it on camera. No, please That's don't. Inappropriate. Define good and bad. Good, me, bad, him. What? No. What? It's so I think I'm good and you're bad. Shh, whatever. No, good and bad. Good in and bad. bad? I thought you said good oh, and bad. Okay, <laughs> good and bad. It's so funny, we miscommunicate <laughs> well, sometimes. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm good at, well, I like to be underneath and have, you know, the girl on top and just, doing their thing because I, I get kind of lazy. Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. Like that, like uh -huh. this. Maybe a little bit of this. A little bit. As long as I don't have to do a lot of work, right. I'm happy. Yep, that's Nikki. Um, I, well, I, for me, I think it's, uh, I think it's a lot about the romance. Uh, I like a few rose petals with some candles lit, maybe some Yanni playing in the background, you know. I like the, I like the aesthetics of it. What's the most unusual place you've had sex? Ooh. Oh, wow, she's getting so in depth here. You first. Okay, um on a playground at night. And uh, I know that might be illegal, perhaps, but... Uh, a little bit, Nikki. Yeah. I don't think that's good. You know, well, it was interesting. We were going down the slide and... Yeah. Well, it was me, a good time, for, for, for me. sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, my, I think the strangest place, but also the most romantic. Um, well, I did it on a piano once. That was interesting. Did you play it, too? Uh, not with my hands. Oh, <laughs> Rod! <laughs> you know, it's funny because I didn't yeah, use my hands, good. I used my sexual parts. Yeah. How would you describe your dream guy? Why, why, why my what? My what? Dream guy? Uh, what, what do you mean dream guy? He means like boyfriend. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I just don't know. Uh, boyfriend. You first. What's your dream girl? Dream girl? Yeah. Well, Dream guy, I was gonna say me. I'm pretty dreamy if you ask me. He didn't ask about the dream girl. I'm a dream boat. You can't help it. A dream boat. Yeah. A boat of dreams. Boat of oh, dreams. Oh, wow. That's, not, that's the worst line you've ever come up with, Nick. Why? No. <laughs> a I'm a dream boat. boat. I'm a dream boat. Yeah, you um, can laugh all you want. I know I'm a dream boat. I like girls with big, huge, you know, out there. <laughs> right. and, and I like. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Whoa, you know, I just can't deny. he's getting out of control. I'm going crazy. You must Next add one of those there. cosmopolitans on the nightstand. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you've tried that you never want to do again? Crystal meth. <laughs> <laughs> Wowee! That was something I wasn't planning on you saying. Well, oh. yes, and I was honest. I, I understand honesty. Crystal meth. Well, yeah. I don't even feel like I... It was like a I bad should... time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. What we I... did it at the same time, unfortunately. Yeah. I wasn't planning on sharing. But <laughs> it was a bad trip. Poor, poor decision on our Poor choices, poor choices. <laughs> and our final question, the most important question, is what position do you play in the big baseball game of life? That is such... I love that question. Yeah. Mm, you have to need, I need time to think about this. Um, well, I personally think I'd be an outfielder because I don't do that much. Um, I think he'd be a cheerleader. What? There's no cheerleaders in baseball! 
It's the position of a player in the baseball team. You'd be the first one. I would never. Yeah, you would. I would actually be the first one. Do a cheer for us. Do a cheer. No, come on, that's high school. That was high school. You're good. That was high school. You're good. Do a cheer. Not now. Ready for the Yankees and go. Give me a Y. Y. Give me an A. A. Give me an N. N. Give me a Keys. That's Yankees. Keys is not a letter. I'm aware. That's why it's a cheer. You well, lead on with the letters into a word, and then Yankees. you make a big one. That's Yankees. <laughs> Yankees. Yankees. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. I just want I, type for my get out, out, Rod. I need my mm -hmm. Come, get, move. Uh, me. 